Unfortunately, over the last number of months now, we've had major difficulties, including uh, an ongoing flood. Still flooded out. Um, so we haven't been able to get to the boat or stay on the boat because obviously the dogs and the floods do not mix. Um, in that time, October, November, yeah. um, the company that Mark worked for went bust. Yeah. And so the last number of months, Mark has been trying to look for another job. Yes. In the meantime, we relocated down to uh, a family member's uh, um, property. Partly because we couldn't live on the boat during the floods over the Christmas period. Yeah, and um, Mark's had to see about um, finding a job because it's been many, many, many months. Yeah, I haven't been paid since November. So in effect, I had to, um, I was forced, my hand was forced into finding work. Um, and as it turns out, um, I've many contacts in the estate agency world, real estate for our American audience, uh, which I did for 30 years. So I've made many contacts and friends. Um, the easiest way to get back into earning work was to go back into what I know and what I used to do. And um, fortunately, I've managed to land myself a job back in that industry. But the downside of that means that we can no longer cruise on the boat, which also then means that the boat now becomes obsolete in our in our plans, doesn't it? Yeah, so it's been it's been a major decision um, and something that we've only come to terms with and sorted out this week. Um, we're two hours away from the boat. So for Mark to do a four hour journey, there and back each day commuting it just wasn't working and there were no uh, rivers or canals down near um, the work um, no. two hours away is the nearest we can get yeah um, so yeah we've had to make the decision to to sell the boat yeah seven years of uh, fun uh, laughter and uh, vlogging um, has to come to an end I think uh, or certainly boat vlogging. Um, we've enjoyed every minute of it. We've had so much fun. We've met so many lovely people, um, including you guys, because obviously um, chatting to you um, on a regular basis has been one of the highlights um, highlights of our journey. Yeah, it's you know. been so lovely to make friends all the yeah. way around the world um, via YouTube, and it, it's been really, really great. We are going to try and continue the vlogs. Yeah. Uh, we've obviously got to sell the boat, so we'll be doing lots of videos on us getting the boat ready, moving off the boat, which is going to be a major challenge in itself, um, selling the boat. Um, we are then going to have to look for a property because we cannot stay in this house uh, for too much longer. Um, it will be a renovation, a property that we have to renovate, so we will be vlogging the renovations. And we have lots and lots and lots of friends, um, including other YouTubers like Cruz and Alba, um, who are going to allow us to go on their boats for little trips. So Hope. we we will be doing lots of trips as well, won't we? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, if we haven't burnt our bridges by, um, by leaving the boating world. Um, so... Uh, we just wanted to let you guys know by video, um, you know, it's kind of, I think you probably would have guessed it anyway because of the lack of videos and the lack of activity. Um, but it's just been a challenge. Everyone's got their challenges. We're not exclusive in that, but this has just been our challenge. So we just wanted to be honest and, and open with you, let you know, um, and um, just basically say thank you for for the support and for the friendship, I mean, we've loved every, I mean, the highlight, the highlight of doing what we did on the boat and vlogging was meeting virtually or in real life, everybody and anybody that watched the vlogs mm. who just wanted to say hello and support the channel. And, you know, to that end, um, yeah, we just, we've loved every minute of that bit, you know, the social side of it, you know, meeting people from all over the world, chatting to you guys um, via Zoom. So um, I just want to say thank you. Yeah, thank you so, so much.
So the river's broken the banks down this end. And it's flowing fast. So our path is blocked that way. Uh, we go that way. So the water's level, not come over the top here yet, oh, I'm just starting to, down there. Right, there's some work to be done. It's just got to that point, hasn't it? A lot of work to be done, isn't there now? There is. An awful lot of work. Okay. Getting the boxes together. Yeah. Dogs wonder what on earth is going on. They do. And uh, the problem is how to get it off the boat. Yeah. That's the issue. I think it'll be a case of wait for the water to subside, take it to the marina, offload it there. Yeah, you think? Mm -hmm. I do. Okay, let's crack on. So now we've got all the boxes, let's move them back to the second bedroom so we can finally sit down this evening. So the boat's for sale. It is. Let's tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 65 by 11 Aqualine. It was built in 2012. It's got a 70 horsepower engine. Um, it's got... Um, new inverter. Yeah, brand new inverter. I say that. It was fitted last year if you saw the video. Solar um, panels. Solar panels we've added on. Um, we've got um, two bedrooms. It's two double bedrooms. Um, it's fitted out to a really high standard inside Aqualine. If anybody knows Aqualine, then um, they know that the quality of them internally is second to none. They're like the Mercedes. Yeah, we were actually told when we purchased the boat that they chopped down one tree and they used that tree for the entire boat. So you'll be able to see in our boat the the ceiling is matched. The wood is matched all the way along. The grain is matched. Yeah. It is absolutely yeah. perfect, so they, isn't it? So they use the tree and then they chop another tree and then they use the grain from that tree to uh, continue the line. I don't know what type of wood it is inside. Somebody did say. No, I, I can't remember. But so, it is solid yeah, wood. Yeah, it is solid it's, wood. There's no plywood. Yeah. It is all solid wood There's no inside. MDF, nothing. Everything no. is um, natural wood. Um, the flooring is oak, I think. Yeah, um, she's an absolute beauty, we've got yeah, to say. She is. I mean, she's been well loved and well used. So she's not in perfect condition, but she's in um, good condition. And she is all set up for continuous cruising as well as being in a marina. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, we've lived on her for seven years, as you know, because we've documented that. Um, so, yeah, she's perfect for um, continuous cruising. There's... Um, We've got three 210 amp hour Victron batteries. They're gel plate batteries. Um, so that gives us, uh, I mean, with a gel plate, you can drain them down a little bit more than you can with a lead acid. A lead, a lead acid shouldn't go 
probably down below about 70%, but with a gel plate you can, um, or maybe, maybe even 80%, but with a gel plate you can go a little bit lower, they're um, a little bit more hard wearing, uh, but they have been lovingly cared for every day in the winter, it, the engine or the solar from the, the, the sunlight will charge them to 100%, um, so they've never been drained well, only once when Bertie switched the um, immersion heater on <laughs> yes. when we got up, yeah, when we got up in the morning to <laughs> to find the batteries were uh, lower than they should be. But other than that, um, yeah, they're in really mint condition. We've also got a brand new uh, starter battery as well because we replaced that when we had um, the starter motor replaced. Yeah. That's another thing that we've replaced as well, the starter motor. Yeah. Um... Also, what size is the water tank? Because that's really important. Uh, that's 900 litres. It's huge. Huge. It lasts us about two and a half weeks. I mean, if you're going to buy a new boat, um, the very first thing I would say is think about water and think about power because the more capacity you have for water means that you move less. So if, if the CRT tell you you move every two weeks um, and you've got a water tank that means you move every seven days, then you're going to be moving an awful lot. Um, if your capacity for water is, you know, bigger than, as big as you can get, um, then that means that you don't have to move as much. Yeah, most brand new boats are 300 litre. So with our boat, having a 900 litre is just amazing. Yeah. Um, it's also got a big fuel tank as well, hasn't it? Yeah, um, I think it's um, 70 or 90 gallon fuel tank. Um but it, yeah, I mean, you've never drained the living thing. You'd have to cruise for a year probably to drain it. I'm joking, it's not a year, but you'd have to cruise an awful <laughs> lot to drain that tank. Um, it's also got a separator in the, um, in the fuel um, feed to the engine. Uh, so if any water does get in, it separates it out so that you don't get a um, diesel bug. So. so she is a beauty. Mm -hmm. She is. She's been well looked after. She has. She was blacked last year. As Have a look at our video and you'll see she was taken out of the water and you'll be able to see how the hull is and how beautiful that was. Yeah. There was no damage on that at no. all. On inspection, the hull was fine. Uh, the guy in the dry dock um, had a look at it and he said that he couldn't see any damage to it at all. Um, there was no corrosion. The anodes were in good condition. Because, um, I mean, even he said that. And, and this is a guy that effectively is trying to sell me anodes. Um, and he said you don't need them to replace them they're in perfect condition so um, yeah all was good uh, but you'll see that in the video that we did if you if you find it on YouTube you'll see that in the video that we did um, the blacking video so if you're on the lookout for a boat get in contact yeah we'll put a link to the boat tour that we did and we'll also put a link to the blacking video as well in the description below so thank you for watching thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe it's free to do so and if you do subscribe don't forget to click the bell icon which is located somewhere around this screen in seven years i've never actually worked out where it is <laughs> don't forget to leave your comments we'd love to hear them and we answer every single one i do my does doesn't. no yeah. um, <laughs> and uh, we will see you next time we will see you next time take bye. care bye Thank you.